गुरु ब्रह्मा गुरु विष्णु गुरु देवो महेश्वर गुरु साक्षात पर ब्रह्म तस्मय श्री गुरुवे नम ओम भवताप प्रणाशिन्ने आनंद घनमूर्त ज्ञान भक्ति प्रदायिने मातस्तुभ्यं नमो नम जय मा क्वेश्चन टुडे इज अ ट्रिकी क्वेश्चन आई थिंक आई हैव आंसर्ड ऑल दीज क्वेश्चन सेवरल टाइम्स इन द पास्ट बट अगेन आई एम आस्क दिस क्वेश्चन वॉट इज योर डेली रूटीन नंबर वन एंड हाउ डिड यू चेंज इन टू प्रेजेंट रूटीन ट्रिकी नॉट इजी See, firstly, let me tell you about my past, which I have already, I think, mentioned a lot of things in the past videos. But since this question, I am responsible now to answer this. My past life, all of you know that I was in the movies, so I was totally a workaholic, from morning to night, sometimes doing night shifts also, and not coming home for two, three nights also. day night i used to work so i was always involved in work all the time then comes a time when i had quit movies and all that uh i used to be in the house but never really into puja or you know routine aisa kuch nahi karti thi main to ek ek samay aaya jab main itne sare sweaters bunti thi okay i must have made more than 200 sweaters and i used to distribute it to friends and you know people who wanted sweaters so cardigans banati thi knitting ka mujhe bahut shauk tha and meri mummy ne mujhe sikhaya tha how to knit so i used to make a lot of sweaters and lots of people still wear them so that was another phase you know jab subah se sham tak main knitting hi karti thi uske baad makeup ka kiya classes chalati thi phir gemology seekhi फिर हाँ ज्वेलरी का रिटेलिंग करती थी एक्सपोर्ट भी करती थी वो सब हो गया सो आई हैड टू बी बिजी ऑल द टाइम दैट वॉज मी दैट इज मी कुछ एक्टिविटी हमेशा होनी चाहिए ऐसा था मेरा फेस सो so, मेरे हिसाब से जो कुछ भी मेरा शौक था मेरे संस्कार थे पिछले जन्म के यू you नो know, या पिछले जन्म यानी पिछले जन्म ऑल्सो and before i got my sanyas wo bhi sanskar jo bhi the the ye shauk hai wo shauk hai wo sab maa ne pura kiya ye bhi kar lo wo bhi kar lo wo bhi kar lo jo tumko shauk hai sab karo so i was constantly into some activity phir aisa samay aaya when maa just took away everything so if you're asking me ke how did you change into i did not change first of all that change word is wrong because maine apni koshish se ye rasta nahi chuna i did not with my own effort come onto this path it was all maa's grace maa's daya maa's drishti maa's gaze that was on me that made everything possible nothing could have happened with my effort because uh earlier also i have mentioned that my father tried very hard from my childhood he used to try very hard to convince me that this is the only path and this is the only thing one should be doing is go towards ma and it used to completely bore me i used to say i'm getting fed up of listening to this every day i don't want to listen to these lectures i was like that to wo he tried very hard but nahi hua you know i i did not get on to the path uh, then one fine day which i have already discussed earlier so i don't think i need to repeat all that maane jaise piche se dhakka mara you know and put me on the path it was literally like that so meri effort se with my effort i haven't changed it was ma who made it all happen and things happened for me and i changed so uske baad to you know initially when i started on the path and all that it was like a total um uh, exhilarating uh, experience for me i had never experienced anything like that you know ke before i started praying or before even i got my official diksha i had so many experiences you know 
so many physical experiences also which i have not discussed earlier and i don't think i should discuss any of that but there were a lot of things which were happening physically to me and i could understand all that so experiences she gave me galore and after that it was a total frenzy for me ke ab kya karu ab kya karu because i just did not know how to do anything i started going to the market you know there's a place in bombay called bhuleshwar so there was another devotee of ma she was also very interested in you know buying beads buying murtis and doing shingar and doing puja part and all that so she taught me all that so that's what i'm trying to say ma sends somebody or the other to help you and guide you on the path okay so she was the one who used to take me regularly to this place called bhuleshwar every day we used to land up over there and i would buy different different murtis i would buy uh, you know their shingar their clothes and i was very involved in all that every day so then the whole mandir came up in my house which you have seen and every day i would do shingar i would do puja i would do all that kind of stuff aarti karo diya jalao everything so i was totally again involved in that from morning to night you know if anybody came home they would want to know where i am i was in the mandir so i was totally involved in that then comes the time when mera diksha ho gaya uske baad puja paath to aur ho gayi meri you know totally into bhakti constant you know i was it was a total high for me it was like that now how did this all happen how did this come about how did, did this transformation happen it did not happen because of me it happened so automatically and a man aisa kuch bandobast kar diya ki mujhe pata bhi nahi chala ki wo pichli zindagi meri chali gayi and wo sanskar sare khatam ho gaye i was totally disinterested in all the things that i did before this started happening i was totally disinterested even when i was working or anything i never went out to restaurants i didn't go for any parties mein jana padta tha because it was necessary for my work and that's why i used to go otherwise no i was not interested aur har ek cheez jo main karti thi after a certain period of time i would be fed up and i would say i don't want to do it anymore and i used to always wonder ki aisa kyu ho raha hai because it was just an exhaustion of all the desires i had that's what mom was doing for me and when she brought me on the path it was totally 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 satisfying so what is my routine today i every day get up at 3 in the morning it's like an alarm that goes on you know even if i tell myself in the night ki abhi mujhe subah thoda zyada sona hai mujhe jaldi nahi uthna it's like somebody is knocking in my head saying that it is time and i get up it's 233 in the morning every day Okay, even if I sleep at eleven o'clock in the night, my eyes will open at two thirty-three. So I get up in the morning, I do my routine, my puja part goes on, and I have a shower, I do my puja part, and everything. My door is locked. I'm in isolation, and till eight o'clock it goes on. And eight o'clock I open my door when my maid comes to give me my first coffee or tea or whatever I want to have or a glass of milk that I have in the morning. I do that. then sometimes when i have the time and when i feel like it i go to the kitchen to do some sattvic cooking every day there is sattvic cooking because my cook knows now bharti knows how to cook everything and that's why i'm showing you you know i i'm glad i remembered this i'm showing you my sattvic channel because this is the kind of food i eat every day you know and something or the other so it's very innovative cooking is very innovative i don't know how many of you are interested in cooking I was never interested, which I have told you earlier. Also, I was never ever interested in cooking or even going to the kitchen. Now that is a transformation again that Ma has been, done for me. It wasn't possible otherwise. So this is the kind of food I eat, and I I'm telling you, if you start eating without onion, garlic, it's so delicious. And that's why I'm trying to show you different things that I make, and I hope you're really interested in seeing all that. Otherwise, why am I wasting my time? You know. मैं तो वैसे भी कुकिंग करती हूँ मुझे दिखाने की जरूरत नहीं है बट बिकॉज सम ऑफ यू सेड दैट प्लीज शो अस व्हाट काइंड ऑफ फूड यू ईट एंड शो गिव अस मोर रेसिपीज ऑन सात्विक फूड दैट्स व्हाई आई एम डूइंग इट नो अदर रीजन सो आई गो टू द किचन डू अ लिटिल बिट ऑफ कुकिंग यू नो एंजॉय माई सेल्फ एंड बिफोर लॉकडाउन सम ऑफ माई फ्रेंड्स यूज टू कम ओवर फॉर प्रशांत सो आई टू कुक फॉर देम एंड दे वुड एंजॉय यू नो 
and they would say my god how do you do it i'm very intuitive about things you know i innovate my things on the spot i never have a fixed recipe so when i go to the kitchen i see in the fridge and i see things that otherwise whatever is the, over there in the kitchen and i start cooking you know to dusre din aap mujhe puchhenge wo kal kaise banaya to mujhe yaad nahi hai you know <laughs> that's the way i am because cooking is also creation you know you're creating something new every day so that's what i do then i have my lunch and everything i rest for a little bit 20 25 minutes because i have to take a lot of medication i have diabetes i have asthma <laughs> you name it and i have it i have rheumatoid arthritis i have lots of problems in my health issues so i have to take a lot of medication from morning to night you know so i take my medication in the afternoon after lunch and then i feel a little groggy so i sleep for 20 25 minutes because of the medicine then again my routine starts of my puja part from 5 o'clock onwards so if people want to call me up after 5 i tell them not to i don't meet anybody even before lockdown i don't like to entertain anybody only very close friends jo do teen hain bas aur koi nahi so they come and i was i'm actually dying for satsang you know <laughs> i tell you something uh, i used to constantly pray to ma <laughs> i still do मां देखो ठाकुर को तो इतने सारे लोगों को आपने भेज दिया यू नो सोलह लोग ज्यादा आ गए ठाकुर यूज टू स्क्रीम फ्रॉम द रूफ टॉप से माँ मुझे कुछ लोग भेज दे जिनके साथ में बैठ के सत्संग करूँ ऐसे माँ मैं जानती हूँ मैं ठाकुर नहीं हूँ रामकृष्ण परमंस नियर हेम बट मुझे भी कुछ लोग भेज दे ताकि मैं बैठ के सत्संग कर सकू उनके साथ तुम्हारी लीला कर सकू तुम्हारी लीलाओं की बातें कर सकू कुछ तो करू कुछ किसी को तो भेज दे पटाती नहीं जान दी बट आई की प्रे सो कभी ना कभी हो सो यू नो देर आर नॉट वेरी मेनी पीपल इन बॉम्बे हु आर रियली इंटरेस्टेड इन सत्संग बिकॉज इट्स अ वेरी कमर्शियल सेंटर सो यू नो दे हैव देर ओन ग्रुप्स वेर दे वॉन्ट टू गो एंड डू थिंग्स एंड यू नो वट एवर दे वॉन्ट टू डू एंड पीपल आर बिजी वर्किंग so i hardly get anybody uh, to really do satsang you know kabhi kabhar ho gaya to 5 baje se leke from evening 5 o'clock till uh, 9 9:30 i am in my puja part my jap dhyan whatever i'm doing then quarter to 9 to 9 i'm in mon uh, which i had mentioned earlier also that ma had fixed this time from 8:45 till 9 o'clock pm so that i do and then 9 9:30 i retire I do some writing, my articles, because I'm running community page. Or uh, from Facebook, you go to community page. It's called Shri Shri Man and the Mai Matri Satsang. So I write Ma's sayings over there, Ma's dialogues with devotees and all that. It's an interesting page. So I am I've been writing over there since quite some time. Then I'm running Instagram, so I put Ma's sayings over there, Ma's pictures over there. Then Facebook, of course, you know some of you have seen me on Facebook. Then now YouTube. so you know i'm busy writing and talking to all of you so it's basically satsang for me all the time and my jab dhyan that i go on doing and i'm not not missing my past life at all before my diksha jo bhi meri zindagi thi i'm saying was that really me it doesn't seem to me you know so that's how ma has changed my life completely and that's my transformation as of now i still have to talk about my journey towards sanyas which i will cover in my next episode next video i hope you know because beech beech mein sawal aate hain na to i'm covering those questions first before i go on to that you know so whoever has some interesting questions do write to me and write in the comment and i will definitely try to answer you know if i can if i have the capacity to do it so thank you so much for all of you uh, to write to all of you not for all of you to all of you to give me good comments and tell me how you feel you know some of you have been writing very well and giving me beautiful comments so please continue doing that and as many people subscribe it will be better for me so it will encourage me that's about it you know you one needs that so thank you jai ma ओम भवताप प्रणाशिने आनंद घनमूर्त ज्ञान भक्ति प्रदायिने मातस्तुभ्यम नमो नमः जय मा